Okay, guys, what I'm about to do, I'm about to drain my air tanks. So, as you know, but I don't know where it says. It says it right here for the Volvo. Do not have your door open when you're draining your air tanks. Make sure you close your door. And then you see a knob here. You'll see a knob here. You're going to have to pull both of them in about 90 degrees. Pull it out to drain your air tanks. And I'm about to show you what it looks like in just a second. All right, I needed both hands to get this. This one was a little tough. I had to like pull up or something and then turn it in. Pull it all the way in 90 degrees. It opens up like this. Okay, you see we have three air tanks. One, two, three. You have your batteries. I'm just gonna drop my glove on the ground for now. They should be tightly secured. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be loose hand tight it's fine okay and this is what it looks like inside of here all right some of them may have a kill switch straight in the center I don't see a kill switch here for the truck but to drain your air tanks you should have a little hole well a line not a hose and just just pull them draining all three at the same time I'm thinking not a hundred percent sure but this is the only one with a hole with I mean with a line so it should be connected some type of way for you to drain all three at the same time because I did hear I, I heard multiple so no I'm vlogging I'm vlogging for my channel vlogging <laughs> I, I, I do YouTube of my trucking experience. So I'm showing them how to drain the airline on uh, the Volvo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> huh? No, sir. I'm actually a new driver. You're for like a month and a half solo. Yeah. And I just got this truck. I'm used to a Freightliner. So I'm like learning the Volvo. And while I'm learning it, I'm, I figure I'll show them, show them the ropes as well. Honestly, I'm starting to like the Volvo. I'm, I, I, I kind of am. I don't know how to use everything 100% just yet, but I'm liking it. I, you know, my backing is better. It's easier to turn. Um, it's, it's less space in the compartment area, but everything is well placed. I kind of like it. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't, I think Volvo, they use another type of motor, but I'm be honest, I, I don't remember the names, different names and stuff like that. All right, guys, sorry about that. But while I was uh, draining the air from my air tanks, um, which really was my first time doing by the way so I'm glad you guys got to see that and uh, to, to close it back I had to just uh, push it all the way up against the truck and then put the knobs back in the closed position that you saw and it, it just locks it back tugged on it make sure it's secure um, but while I was doing that another trucker came up and an older guy he was talking and uh, asking me questions and just pretty much telling me that he was you know he was proud of me and he don't see too many ladies out here doing it and he's just he's 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 impressed to see that i've only been on the road a short period of time and i'm already like doing these things which is really honestly simple things i don't know why men are so impressed um it's nothing too physical it's nothing like too difficult like it's really simple <laughs> you're driving even if you have a manual truck you're just shifting the gears it's not something that takes a lot of strength um i'm not lifting anything crazy heavy 
if I had to, I wouldn't do it, honestly. So, but mm, a compliment's a compliment. I'm gonna take it with stride. Um, but yeah, so you saw you guys saw me drain the air tanks and maybe in the morning, I'm not 100% sure, I'll probably show you guys the end cap pre-trip, okay? I'm not gonna do the whole outside. Maybe I will, maybe I will. It depends on if the sun rises early enough. Cause I plan on getting on the road at 6 a.m. to head to my destination because I have another place to go after that to pick up and go. Right now I'm in Florida, I'm going back to Georgia. I came down from South Carolina today. So I'm probably gonna get up at 6 a.m. to get my day started. So I don't know what else I'm gonna show you guys, but it's gonna be something educational. <laughs> but the girls out here doing it. And right next stop, I'm at a rest area and it's kind of frustrating because you get to some rest areas and all the bathrooms be closed like why do you close the bathrooms in the rest area like you don't have one bathroom open like everything's completely locked off man and woman why why do you lock the restrooms i don't understand like it's a rest area leave the restrooms open obviously truckers and you know other commercial vehicles are stopping to use the restroom why are y'all closing you know if they're down get them up please you know and uh parking spaces like some rest stops or way stations like they have everything completely closed down why are you closing them it's only so much uh spaces for us to park and shut down for the night anyways and you're like cutting it off and then the the uh stop the rest areas that they do it on it'd be like the only rest area for like three hours <laughs> or two hours and they're shutting it down completely like i feel like that's very considerate and somebody need to talk about this someone needs to you know do more about this you know and build more rest stops because all this land for no reason you need a place to park uh but anyway that was my short rant <laughs> i don't know if y'all can hear me but it is six o'clock in the morning and snow just went potty <laughs> Neither one of us is a morning people, so she was looking so cute and so funny the way she was stretched out today, but I couldn't, uh, I wasn't thinking about showing. I thought I did think about taking a picture, but then I was like, I gotta get up. But, um, yep, I done took Snow out to the restroom. I done did my one and twos in the restroom. Now me and Snow is pre-tricking, pre-tripping, pre-tricking pre-tripping our trailer we're at a truck stop on our way to Madley, Florida come on Snow what this all is like this? I don't know I swear you wake up and you see some things different that you thought it always pre-trip your trailer and your truck if you don't post trip which you should I try to but sometimes by the end of the day I'll be so tired <laughs> but Make sure you pre-trip. What is that? Got a cig cigarette bud on the trailer, Tell you. Always pre-trip. Because what happened to me yesterday, I don't know, can y'all hear me? One second, I'll be okay. right back. Real quick for you guys, because I'm getting ready to get my day started. Um, I don't know if you can hear me out there, but in case you couldn't, again, I was taking Snow out for her morning bathroom break. Uh, let her potty get it all out um, because I probably won't let her get out again and let let go until like, you know, noonish, you know. So the first day out here with Snow, she was real timid. It was like a lot of shaking, a lot of bumping, a lot of grooving and moving and stuff like that. She was looking at me like, mama? <laughs> like, what's going on? So, we're all, what is it? Today's Thursday, so her fourth day out here. Um, she pretty much got the groove of it. Like, she sleeps. It doesn't bother her anymore. She's jumping up and down out of the seat on her own. Like, her nerves are more relaxed. Like, she understands, like, okay, this is just the new moving thingy. Like, the car. So, She's doing great. She's doing awesome. Um, I'm really enjoying having her out here with me, chilling. The 
bless her. Eventually she'll jump up there, you know. Um, so that's my that's my role partner. Um, and I was saying uh, also what happened to me yesterday was I did a pre-trip and I did a post-trip to shut down the day. And when I got up that morning, I did another pre-trip. Everything checked out. I went to my destination, dropped off um, at this location. You have to completely unhook from your trailer at their dock and leave your trailer. You have to go park elsewhere and they'll call you and then you go get your paperwork and you go back and get your trailer. And as I was going back to hook up to my trailer, um, I chopped my wheels and everything. So I picked up the right side and hooked up my glad hands. I got ready to go to the left side. And as I'm walking to the tire, I wasn't even looking at the trailer yet. And it's like, I just seen a big hole out the side of my eye. I'm like, whoa, like what happened to my trailer? So, yep, I don't know who, I don't know when, but I know it was when it was dark. Somebody backed into my trailer, put a hole in it and kept going, kept going. So always do a pre-trip, post-trip if you can. And, um, but definitely, definitely always do a pre-trip and just, you know, be, make sure you look at things throughout your day. Just take, you know, take a glance, make sure everything's still 10 for, um, but yeah, I thought that was crazy. So I had to do a claims and I was going back to the terminal anyway to pick up my next load. So I dropped it off to the terminal, let them know what's going on with it so they could get it fixed. But <laughs> yeah, guys, so I'm down here in Florida right now. I'm going to get ready to go make my next stop, which I have to leave now. To make it there in time i've already did my pre-planning so hmm, i'm gonna have to cut this one short i appreciate you guys watching um like share subscribe to this video if you have any questions um you can write me my uh my social media is down below or you can comment on this video i see your comments i answer uh everyone that i see so if i skipped you i didn't mean it but every comment that i see come up in my notifications i try to make sure i answer it to some liking because some of them are kind of like i don't know i don't be getting it but <laughs> i appreciate you guys for real for real like never thought that i'll be sitting on 400 subscribers so that's a pretty amazing accomplishment for me um i know it's not lavish but it's, it's big for me and i really appreciate all you and whenever I do get back home, I'm doing two weeks out. Um, I don't know. I might have a busy weekend because my brother's getting married this weekend. Um, but if I have a chance and um, to sit down, I'm going to do another movie time for you guys because there's been a few of them I've been wanting to see. And I haven't watched it yet because I want to do the reaction for it. So uh, I have that coming for you guys soon enough. Soon enough. Um, keep watching. I appreciate you. Stay amazing, gang. Peace. Well, guys, I'm shut down. <laughs> I am shut down and broke down. All right. So I picked up my load. Everything was going great. I was making impeccable time. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to be able to get drop off two loads in one day. And I'm still going to have like two hours or an hour and a half to uh, head in the direction of my next load and then shut down somewhere at one of these rest stops. Everything's gonna be fine. What happens? Tire blowout. <sighs> I did my pre-trip. The trailer looked fine. Old, very old, rusted, but fine. But I do low-key wish that they just get rid of these ridiculously old trailers. Like, rusted out you got to fight with it to get the tandems released and locked and it looks like it's leaning I, I don't know but tire blew out the inner tire of the trailer blew out I look back I seen black things coming which is why it's also important for you to do your checks in your rear view mirrors I look back I seen black stuff flying I didn't know if it was coming from me or the road so I switched lanes and I still saw it and then I saw smoke so I put my hazards on slow down thankfully it was a loves uh, 
less than a mile up the road. So I slow walked it there. So only had like three hours of drive time left. Love's not gonna be able to see me in the morning. If I rode off Love's lot to get someone else to see me, I still wouldn't have been seen before two hours. So it probably would have still took about three hours for them to get done anyway. So, and by then, my, my time will be out. So I figure I'll just wait here for the morning. At least we have a beautiful... Snows, oh, snow. <laughs> And uh, I could take me a shower. I got some food and stuff like that. Just chill. Get up in the morning. They say I'm first on the list, so I'm trying to be out the door as soon as they open. And hopefully I'll be out of here before nine. Hopefully. But that'll put a damper probably most likely on my other lows. We'll see, we'll find out. So, second time being broke, got, broke down, guys. Yay, me. <laughs> we're here, we're just, we're enjoying the sunset i'm about to go i'm gonna go get back in the truck and watch the basketball game night let's go heat all right <laughs> but quick update i wanted to give that guy um uh, give that to you guys um this will probably conclude my video because the only thing else i could do is probably show you how snow looks in the morning when she wakes up <laughs> she's so not a morning person she's worse than i am a morning well not morning person but morning doggy yeah she's so not a morning doggy but yep, even regardless of being broke down, everything's good. Everything's great, you know. Can't be too mad. It is what it is. So stay amazing, gang.